really get in the minds of the opposing teams. This ball played forward for Dewan Jones. Tries to cut in, but Timmy Mel is there with a key intervention. You guys need to move. Mel knocks it out. Yeah, you need to move. Jones. You gotta, like, just leave. Yeah. Back to Ken Crowlicky, who sends this one into the box. A quick header and a quick finish for the Spartans and Ryan Sirakowski putting Michigan State up 1-0. You talk about a quick start, Eddie. You'll see it again here. Krolicki sending this one in, and Sarakowski getting a great header on it. A tremendous header that really caught Trey Muse off guard, and that's not something you're going to see too often from this Indiana back line throughout the season, catching them off guard. And Michigan State off to a tremendous start in this one. One of the, the quickest goal of the season that Indiana has been down. And this is the first time throughout the whole season that Indiana has trailed in a game. Thing Coach Yeagley loves more than his patented Yeagley restarts. As Mason Toy will set up on the in-swinger. Toy sends it in. Near post, just over the head of Frankie Moore and cleared out by the Spartan back line. Michigan State with this far side throw in with everything looming. Philadelphia ahead as Dewan Jones cuts into the box, gives it a rip from the top of the box, and a little bit of a tough play for Trey Muse, who parries that out wide for what will be a corner kick for Michigan State. You see Trey Muse there trying to will some life into his back line. Francesco Moore, he's got to get in front of Dewan Jones right there and try to get deflect that shot, but a great save by Trey Muse to get to it take this in swinger to the far post off one head and then toy maintains control and clears it out barone back on the ball makes one move two moves cuts inside chips it forward to the far post but no one is there for sparty by corey thomas in the good position See it again, Corey Thomas making sure he's got the foot on the ball and gets taken down by Krolicki from behind. Krolicki, Lillard, Timmy Mel. It's sent in to Grant Lillard, gets his head on that one. Up for Dorsey, off another head and just over the net. Andrew Goodman, like many Hoosiers, calling and claiming that was off of Jimmy Haig. See it again, they went to Grant Lillard at that back post. Haig was off his line, and then Gor Dorsey and Gutman both got into it on there. Dorsey trying to send it to the opposite corner. Gutman just trying to tip it over Haig's hands, and Haig tipped it out. But now... Now to the top of the box. Poncho can't control, and now Dewan Jones can work the counter. They've got numbers. Krolicki here. One-on-one -on -one with Buckmaster. Swartz taken down by Jones. Played through for Jones, who gives it a shot just wide of the net. A pivotal opportunity for the Spartans. And that's an ambitious shot there from Jones, but I, I actually really like this effort from Jones, who is streaking down that left side. He takes a rip at it, and it's close to going in, but it's also in a good spot where other players could come in, like Sarakowski, to tip it in. And it looked like Trey Muse might have got a touch on it out of bounds, so it will be a corner kick for the Spartans. Gutman, we'll see it again here. Gutman has a great ball into Pancho right here, and then Pancho does the rest to earn the corner. His best friend was a little bit shorter, so they ended up switching, and now he's playing very well in that goalkeeper position. Poncho tries to send this low cross in the box. It's cleared out by Watungu. Frankie Moore now to Griffin Dorsey. Moore and Dorsey playing a little one-two. Dorsey pushing it out wide. And a big takedown coming from Connor Corrigan. That's going to go out of play. A nice play by Poncho as Reese Buckbaster now has it. Up to Dorsey. Played forward for Buckmaster. He's going to look to cross this to the top of the box. No one is there, but then there's Corey Thomas off the volley. Get it on there. It was a nice ball played in by Buckmaster. Went all the way through the back line. Thomas just putting a one-timer. High school around age 14 when his, his parents chose to switch career and move into the United States. Yeah, his dad got a new job in the United States, spent, spent the first 14 years of his life in Japan, was acclimated to the Japanese lifestyle. Coming to America, he talked about how he didn't really know the, what high school was, what high school sports were. His family never played sports in high school, so coming in, he had to get acclimated to the United States, to how the sport culture worked, especially in high school, and obviously doing very well for Michigan State now. Toy now, using his speed, gets by Watungo. 
A big chance dropped off for Thomas at the top of the box. Can't keep control for too long. Dropped off to Swartz with a big rip and parried away by Jimmy Haig. And that a rip on this one from the right foot. You'll see it again here. Great play by Corey Thomas just to drop it off. Swartz tees it up and he sent that one to the upper 90, but Haig gets to it with the right hand. Right now, haven't been there since 2012. They haven't even made it past the round of 16 since 2012. Obviously, they made it here. Jones with a little bit of fancy feet, but not really much movement. Tries to chip Reese Buckmaster, but he ain't playing those games. Team's getting what seems to be a little tired. Dorsey now cutting into the box. He's going to give it a rip from his left foot. Off the rebound is Toy, and that's parried away once again by the Big Ten goalkeeper of the year. That's the best. Doing a tremendous job here, cutting in towards the box, getting it to his left foot, putting it on frame, and then Mason Toy trying to finish it off, but couldn't quite get it. Jimmy Haig with a tremendous thigh save, you might call it, to get it out of bounds. But the job is not done for this Michigan State back line as Indiana has a chance from the corner. Toy now with the in-swinger to the near post. Goodman off the post and cleared out. And the hear the crowd just going in all at this one. Hits the back post so close to finding the back of the net. That would have been Andrew Goodman's seventh goal of the season. Dispossession from the Michigan State defender. Timmy Mel with a great touch there, knowing where Sarakowski is and then dropping him to the ground. Not too often you see a crossover in soccer and dropping a player, breaking his ankles. Ankles coming into this game, they're going to have a lot of confidence as they also had a chip on their shoulder. They wanted to win that regular season matchup. Glass with a beautiful cross in the box. Can't find Toy, but Dorsey's still there. Miss one freshman, find the other. Buckmaster now at the Big Ten logo. Up to Poncho, chip forward for Thomas. He's got space in the box. A low shot deflected out by Haig. Goopman now to Lillard. Up to Glass, who's going to look to send in another cross. Tries to find Toy, and that's cleared out. It's defender, and it's cleared out. And Michigan State can look to counter if they want. But Goopman with a key turnover. Goopman now looking to the far post. Above everyone's head, and now Dorsey can control. Buckmaster at the logo. Far post to Grant Lillard who gets up there and knocks it out of play. Poncho with room in front of him. Takes a tough touch and then gives it to Glass. Chipped up and cleared out by Miller. Moore to Thomas. Thomas with a pretty move. Another pretty move and a rip. Almost by Haig again. Hey, getting his hands on another tough shot and showing just how stellar he is. Michigan State was the aggressor in the first part of this half. Now Indiana has really turned it on, especially in the last 15 minutes of this half, trying to find that equalizer. But Jimmy Haig is standing up to the task right now, doing a tremendous job. Thank you very much, Mary Kate. And those are some interesting words from Coach Jake. It really sounds like he's pretty pleased with his team's performance. Toy now in control. Sends this one into the middle of the box. Poncho can't get to that one. But Gutman now with a rip and just misses the net wide. A huge volley from Andrew Gutman. And boy, we could have had ourselves another impeccable start to a half. I mean, you could see Andrew Gutman lining this one up. He wanted to get it to the outside of his left foot. Puts a rip into that, that this one and just a foot wide of the net. And you could see Haig there. A sigh of relief as he rolls over, gets back up, and making sure he doesn't have to make yet another save to start out this second half. But Coach Yeagley talked about this. I have to think he's pivotal moving forward as Andrew Gutman works off the turnover. He's got space now. Makes a quick cut, pushes it towards the box, and then a shot deflected off of Brad Santala. Strong defense off that Andrew Gutman counter. Some people might think that's a little bit selfish on Gutman's part, but it's honestly a smart play. He only had Toy out to his left. Poncho was coming into his right, but there were five defenders in front of him. If he plays it over to Toy, Toy's not going to be able to do anything with the ball. So it's smart of Gutman to be patient, let the, let the space open up in front of him, and then take the chance that he got and get it towards Haig as Spencer Glass being very aggressive going down here on the track. A fight at the top of the box, and it's cleared out. Jones now one-on-one -on -one with Buckmaster. Jones going to try and use his pace, but Buckmaster again 
the midfielder converted to a right back using his defensive awareness to make that play. Goodman, and now Sirakowski can look to counter. Jones out wide, one-on-one -on -one with Goodman, and Goodman is there with the recovery. That's an incredible tackle from Andrew Goodman right there. It was three on two for the Spartans, but Indiana not done yet on the defensive end. Mason Toy taken to the ground by Dewan Jones. No call there as Dewan looks to get to the end of that through ball. What a job. Might as well keep that momentum going. Coach Yeagley playing to the strengths of the team right now. Right in that hot hand is now Hunter Baroni also checks in for Michigan State for Pimlot. In swinger to the near post, finds the back of the net. The Indiana Hoosiers tie it one to one with 30, 38 left to go. We'll see it here, Trevor Swartz. No one touched that ball. Trevor Swartz just scored, scored from the corner. And it's a one, one game. Unbelievable from Trevor Swartz. Comes in and immediately makes an impact off the bench. Thomas off the turnover. Moore up to Swartz, who looks ahead. Spencer Glass now has plenty of room. Going to cross this into Toy, who can't get a touch on that one off of the chest of Watungu. A big opportunity, but Glass has it now. 28 left to go in the second half. 1-1. Thomas to Moore. Indiana really packing the box now. Looking to take advantage of the momentum. Gutman back and forth beyond Jones. Tries to cut towards the box, but a strong clearance. But then Gutman again, the aggressor. And out of play off Gutman. Trey Muse, Mason Toy, and Ryan Sirikowski. Everyone so talented on both sides. Is now Frankie Moore working on the counter to Poncho. The overlap from Gutman into the box. A low cross just off Jimmy Haig with a pivotal save for Michigan State. And Jimmy Haig, he was the man. Up to Baroni. Tries to find Marco Tonini, but Gutman is there. And then Frankie Moore taken down from behind by Baroni. No call. And now into the box is Freitag, who tries to give it a rip. It's deflected out. Another shot. Trey Moose is there, but the rebound cleared out. And a foul call on Marco Tonini. Another huge chance, but Trey Muse showing why he's one of the best freshmen in the nation. Well, Grant Lillard is on the ground here because he took a shot, took an absolute rip to the stomach. He just needs to be stretched out a little bit. He'll be fine. But Trey Muse, what an absolutely miraculous save there. He was off balance. You'll see it again here. Off balance, gets a, save, gets a hand to it, saves the ball. And offsides on Michigan State. Back post, off ahead, a rip deflected out. An impeccable defense by the Spartans, a huge chance coming for the Hoosiers. Yeah, Tries to play it forward for Jones, but Buckmaster there once again. Jones can't get to it, and a huge takedown by Santala. The crowd is into it as Santala rips down Buckmaster from behind. And that's an easy yellow card right there for the head ref. You see it there. Buckmaster does a tremendous job to get around Centala. And Centala with a bit of a professional foul to make sure Buckmaster can't streak down the line, takes him down, accepts the yellow card, and goes on with his day. Buckmaster across to the near post and above the head of Mason Toy into the hands of Jimmy Haig. Haig is going to take his time. He doesn't want anything to happen. And with five seconds left to go, it's safe to say that Indiana and Michigan State will be heading to penalty kicks here at Jerry Yeagley Field for the opportunity to head to Philadelphia and the College Cup. The first shot of the penalty kicks for Michigan State. Sirikowski, the only player on Michigan State to have taken PKs this year during the regular season. All big. 10 second team. And it's off the post, off the save from Trey Muse. And Trey Muse is bumped up about that one. You heard the roar from the Indiana faithful. Trey Muse is out there eating. 
Sean Caulfield got the opportunity for PKs last time for Indiana against Wisconsin. This time they bring in the freshman Trey Muse and he faces the first challenge from Sirikowski. Sirikowski got him leaning a little bit. For Indiana, the captain, center defensive midfielder Frankie Moore. He's taken three penalty kicks all year, made all three right down the middle. See how he approaches this time. Moore, back in the net. one nothing, Indiana. The Hoosier faithful getting into it. Francesco Moore, knowing that he's been scouted throughout the year, going up the middle three times. He saw that Hagel's waiting for him. He decides to go upper 90 and absolutely buries it. Now up for Michigan State with the score one nothing, Indiana after one round. Ken Krolicki, the senior out of Plymouth, Michigan. Second team all Big Ten last year. Big Ten all freshman team his freshman year. The senior looking to leave his impact now on this Michigan State program. And he finds the back of the net for Michigan State. Okay, it's the final part of the second round for Reese Buckmaster who approaches. Reese Buckmaster, the converted midfielder who's played right back all year. No goals in the year, but six assists. And he scores! Indiana with the 2-1 lead in the second round. Two to one, and Haig, he's holding his head down, but he's had a tremendous game so far, and that is an absolutely phenomenal PK from Reese Buckmaster. For Michigan State, the senior. It's saved by Muse. And Trey Muse, the second save out of the PKs he's had. An unbelievable performance. And Austin Pacho could get it done here. You see Centala stepping up. Muse faking to the left, and then ends up going to his left. A great save. And Centala knowing that this could be it with Austin Pancho approaching the 12-yard line. Pancho. One of the leaders on this team. Two goals, one assist on the year. The junior out of St. Louis, Missouri. In the third round, Indiana leading this PK. Shootout 2-1, looking to go to the College Cup. Poncho finishes it! 3-1 Indiana after the third round. It's that much closer for Indiana. A great PK taken here. This one is tucked into the back of the net. Side netting for Austin Pancho. Hey, guesses the wrong way. Trey Muse can come up with yet another miraculous save. Approaches. And he finds the back of the net. Sealing the... And it's saved by Jimmy Haig and out of play. The Big Ten Goalkeeper of the Year coming up big time. Jay Alive in the NCAA Tournament. Giuseppe Baroni approaching the kick. Muse in net. And it's saved! The quest for nine continues! Indiana has been working all season to get to this point. And what a picture. The heartbreak for Michigan State. The jubilation for Indiana as the students rush the field. They go to their fellow students as Indiana wins the shootout 4-2. And Indiana makes the College Cup for the 19th time in program history. The crowd rushes the field here at Jerry Yankley Field. The Indiana Hoosiers are off to the College Cup in Philadelphia.